is up you guys welcome to my channel my name is Brenda if you love all things home decor you're in the right place if you're an oldie but a goodie welcome back today I'm sharing with you guys the best Amazon home decor finds so you want to make sure to keep on watching get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the YouTube fam turn on the notification bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and of course go and follow me over on TikTok and on Instagram linked down below in the description box as always and give this video a huge thumbs up if you love Amazon I have been sharing a ton of Amazon home decor hauls here on my channel recently that I thought I'm going to just create one big Amazon haul of the best finds Personally, some of these are my favorite pieces that I've ever picked up on Amazon and I've picked up a ton of home decor on Amazon. Don't forget, everything will be linked down below in the description box as always. So let's just jump straight in because I have a few pieces that I want to share with you guys and in between the video, I'm going to share with you guys also how I've styled these Amazon home decor finds throughout my home. So Amazon is the place to go to for coffee table books. Sometimes you can find really good deals on different websites like TJ Maxx and you can find really good coffee table books at home goods but not always do you come across really good ones that Amazon is like the clutch. You have to just go on Amazon to just find the best coffee table books for your home and I love decorating my home with coffee table books. These are actually a few of my favorite. Again, all of them are linked on my Amazon storefront so it's easy access for you guys to go and pick it up for yourself. I wanna start off by sharing the Live Beautiful book by Athena Calderon. It is a really pretty texture. It is a neutral color. I love decorating my home with neutral coffee table books. I do have a few that are black, white, and colored, but I have mostly neutral tones in my home. And if you guys are looking to add neutral tone to coffee table books, this one is a must. It is inexpensive, it's not that much, and you guys can see the cover of the book is beautiful, so no matter where you place it in your home, it looks amazing. It's beautiful, I get a ton of inspiration from her as well. And staying on the topic of, of interior designers, Joseph Durand is my favorite designer of all time, and this book is definitely a must have if you love a very Parisian inspired interior design. The, if you are in love with architecture, his work is just huh, chef's kiss. That's like the only way that I can describe it. It is beautiful. Tiffle. And this book, actually, I always see it at Restoration Hardware out on display. I've seen it before at CB2. So this is the book to have, and it is very inexpensive. Again, if you guys flip through these pages, you can see beautiful work inside. And that's another reason why I always recommend decorating your home with coffee table books, because not only are they beautiful to display, but they are definitely a conversation starter. You can sit there and Go through the books if you have, you know, company over or another home decor lover just like yourself. And you guys can talk about everything with these books. You can share your love for, oh my gosh, like just look at this. Let me just share with you guys. Like, is this not a dream bathroom? Like, oh, can I just, can I live there? Can this be my bathroom? Like, do you guys know what I mean? Like, these are just beautiful books to get inspired by and they're beautiful to have out on display. And a lot of the times too, if you guys do not like with the paper cover, you can always remove them and they're beautiful also without the paper cover. That one in particular, I just love so much. I don't wanna take it off. I just, again, I am obsessed with Joseph Duran's work. So that is a must have coffee table book. And last but not least, another, like amazing Amazon find are the Tom Ford coffee table books. As you guys know, these are probably the most loved and hate, hated books here on the internet, but I love them both. I have the black Tom Ford book on my coffee table bowl, and I have this one on my console table. I actually just gave one away to one of my lucky subscribers who should be receiving it really, really soon, and I know that he's going to love it just as much as I do. These books are just beautiful. Again, not only as, you know, home decor, there's such a statement. I highly recommend them. I recommend you pick yourself up the black one as well. That's like the 
most popular coffee table book, I would say, on Amazon. It's beautiful. It's it's head and you know, it's head to head with the Architectural Digest book, which I don't have with me here right now, but I have three of the Architectural Digest book, which is another one of my favorites. And you guys can just see through these clips as I'm sharing with you guys. I decorate my home a ton with coffee table books, and you can find the best coffee table books on Amazon. So definitely pick yourself up some coffee table books. I highly, highly recommend it. Again, they will be linked down below, but these are definitely my favorite by far, aside from the Architectural Digest book. I 110% recommend them. Now, moving forward, another find that I recently came across on Amazon that I love as well are these coasters right here. Now, the reason why I love these so, so, so much is because I saw some almost identical at CB2. And you guys, these are half the price of the ones that I saw at CB2. So I love that you can find really good pieces on Amazon that could be dupes to high-end home decor that you could find at CB2, Pottery Barn, I mean, all of those high-end home decor stores and I only found them on Amazon for not that much. And look how beautiful this texture is. I love it. They actually come in a round style as well, but I chose to go with these and they just, I like them. I like them. They're sturdy. They have the grip at the bottom, so it will not damage your dining table. You can move them from room to room, your coffee table, your island, wherever you please. And they do come in a set of four, so you do get them like this. That is definitely something that I 100% recommend as well. I feel like I'm gonna say about everything because obviously this video is Amazon's best find. So definitely pick yourself up those coasters. I love them. I forgot to link them in my last haul where I shared them with you guys, but don't worry. I got you. I will make sure to link them down below. So please reference back to this video if you guys want any of these pieces for yourself. Moving on, another piece that I recently picked up from Amazon and I'm like, how did I not pick this up sooner? Like how? This is so freaking cool and I could have saved myself so much money on lighters by just picking up this electric lighter. It comes in black, it comes in white, it comes in rose gold, like a champagne color. This is so cool, you guys, because it never runs out. You just charge it up and you're good to go. Like the other night, I forgot to charge it and so I just plugged it in for a couple of minutes and then it was fully charged and I got to light all of the candles around my house. So you guys can see that you just plug in your charger at the bottom of the electric lighter. It's super easy. When you turn it on and off, it has a little blue light that will indicate that the lighter is on or off. So make sure that it's always off so you can consume the battery. And of course, that's all that it takes. And it's, it's just so cool. Like, I feel it's like your modern um, lighter. You don't have to go and purchase like all of those old school lighters. Like, this is just so cool. It looks so chic. I love just having it out like, you know, anywhere on my console table, in my living room. I think it's so cool. I'm probably gonna pick up another one. I actually wanna pick one up for my mom. She's gonna be amazed. Like, what is this? Do but not sleep on this. I feel like I was a little late on this guy, but nonetheless, better late than never. So, I love that. Moving on, another piece that I picked up from Amazon that I absolutely love, and this one was not recent, but I wanted to throw in this haul because I feel that it's timeless. I mean, you always wanna have pictures around your home, right? Family pictures, pictures of your dogs, whomever, but I don't like to have too many frames scattered around my home that I only have one in particular that you guys have seen here on my channel before and I still 100% recommend it. It is this frame right here, which has a ton of pictures of me and my family, me and my son, my husband, my nieces and nephews, our dogs. So I just love having this out on my console table and people can, my nieces, every time they come over, they'll go near it and they'll see themselves. And I'm like, oh, I love seeing their little faces just light up when they see their pictures. And I don't have to have a ton of frames scattered around my home, you know, ruining the aesthetic I mean but don't take that wrong you guys like you can definitely have as many pictures as you want I just don't I just don't like that look I prefer to have something like this where I can have multiple pictures in just one frame and out on display and it looks really really cute I love it and yeah I recommend it you can I had this in my kitchen for quite some time and then I moved it to my living room and I could even move it to my bedroom I'm thinking of changing up the little pictures inside and I just I think it's so cute I actually use like my son's um, 
Polaroid camera to get these pictures, but I think you can definitely put whatever pictures you want. Maybe those pictures that you get from your kids, you know, from school, you could put some of those, or you could put, I don't know, whatever pictures you want, just cut them up to the sizing, and voila, you have a really cute frame, and you don't have to have a ton of picture frames scattered around. Just put your favorite ones in this guy, and you're good to go. So I recommend it. I think it's really, really cute. I've loved it since I got it, and I still love it next up oh my goodness i get asked so much where i got these bag hangers if you guys follow me on tiktok you've seen these bag hangers and i have them out on display in my closet and i get asked so much where did you get these from now i do want to mention that i got my inspiration from the dior store every time i go into the dior store i pay attention to how they have their bags displayed their jewelry displayed and i get my inspiration that i went on amazon i'm like i'm sure i could find something just like that i mean they probably even got them on amazon i would not be surprised and of course i found these and i love them these are just dis like displays for your handbags so you guys can see that you place i'll go ahead and insert clips so you guys can see how i have my bags displayed you can adjust like the height if you guys see that let me unscrew it you could adjust the height of the stand so if you have a bigger tote bag you could totally hang your tote bag and it'll give you more space or if you have a smaller bag you can put a smaller bag out on display and i just i love it i only have two of them but when i move i definitely want to pick up like two more so i can have four bags out on display even up to six and i love having them together just like that i think it looks so cool and expensive and i mean if you have some expensive bags that you want to put on display some you know bags that you really cherish then i recommend you pick these up you don't have to have designer bags just any handbag that you don't want to you know you don't want it to just be thrown in your closet or just lounging around in your bedroom get these it looks really really cute it looks really chic i feel like i have my own boutique at my own home like in my bedroom again i always see these at the like luxury stores you guys pay attention if you ever go into a Dior store, or I think I've seen it. I've only seen it at Dior. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've seen it somewhere else. I think I've only seen it at Dior. Pay attention, they have their saddlebags on display like this, and it just looks so pretty. I love it. It's like having your own boutique at home. So I will definitely link these down below. They are a must have if you want your beautiful bags out on display. I highly recommend them. Now, moving on to another find that I recently came across, and I had been wanting this one for a long time. You guys know that my style of home decor is very sophisticated, very chic modern but i do love to incorporate just a little bit of wood here and there i feel that wood really does bring in warmth to your home i actually have out on display you guys can see driftwoods on my bookshelves i've had them since i moved in and i love them so i picked up this little stool oh oh i almost fell <laughs> i picked up this little stool right here do you guys see it i love it this looks like something you can come across at pottery barn or I don't know, crate and barrel. Like, I like it and I found it on Amazon. You guys can see how I have it displayed here in my home. I put my favorite soap, which is my Aesop soap, and then a little like dish scrubber out on display. And it looks so cute. It looks like something that you would see out on display, like at the Aesop store. That's actually, I think, where I saw it. I was walking in the mall and I came across the Aesop store and I went in there to pick me up some soap and I saw that they had this little guy on display. I'm like, I could find that on Amazon. And I did and it's it was so cheap you guys like it looked it looks so cute you could just pick and choose whatever you want I mean you don't have to have your soap just lounging around next to the sink you know show it some love and this is a really cute way of making your kitchen sink look very aesthetic very beautiful again you guys can see how I have mine out on display and I love it I will link it down below for you guys they have a ton other ones to choose from I liked the look of this one I had seen it before over on Instagram and on Pinterest and I felt what a cute way to incorporate some wood into my home without overdoing it. I really like that. Now, last but not least, I wanted to share with you guys this stand right here that I use for my perfumes. So I think I mentioned to you guys that I am growing my perfume collection, which now it's grown from the last time that I talked to you guys. I've added quite a few fragrances. Thank you guys for all the recommendations. Like I always look through the comments and pick up your guys' recommendations. And I've been trying to grow my fragrance you know, collection. And now I have a few, which I'm so proud of because I never ever like bought myself fragrances like that I always just had one finished it and then bought another one so I'm proud of my little fragrance collection which hopefully will grow so you guys can see some of my favorites that I have out on display and I put them 
out on display on this acrylic stand right here. So not only can this be used for perfumes, fragrances, but you could also use it in your bathroom for skincare. You could use it for makeup. There's so many ways that you can use this. And what I love about it the most, I actually only picked up the two tier one. You can make it up to five tiers. So you can display all your makeup really pretty and aesthetically very organized. Again, all of your skincare ladies or your fragrances. I am using mine in particularly for my fragrances, but I definitely want to pick up a second one to just put all of my makeup out on display, maybe like a five tier one. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. I think that would look really, really nice and aesthetically pleasing in your bathroom. And this is super inexpensive. And I just, I love picking up organizers on Amazon. They honestly have some of the best ones. This isn't my only one, but this is my favorite one because I feel like it can be utilized in so many ways. So definitely check this guy out. I will also link it down below. And that's pretty much all that I have to share with you guys in today's haul, like Amazon's best finds. I wanted to make make it a two-part video because I, if not, you guys, this video would have been 45 minutes. So give it a huge thumbs up if you guys want me to do a part two of Amazon's best finds. Again, all of these pieces will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. Don't forget to check out my Amazon storefront. So I wanted to just make it very easy for you guys to be able to refer back to this video and pick yourself up some of these pieces if you absolutely love them. Again, I hope you guys are staying safe. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. And yeah, again, let me know down below if you guys want me to do a part two. As always, I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.